and welcome to Aerotech's Automation One instructional video series. Aerotech is a company that solves your toughest precision motion and automation challenges. Automation One is a motion control platform consisting of software-based controls and development tools, plus hardware-based drives for servo motors and other devices. In this video, we will review the new Automation One Machine Apps HMI Builder tool. My name is Patrick Wheeler, and I am a product manager for Aerotech. Okay, as you see, we are now opening up the Automation One Studio application where we will connect to our controller and develop a machine application or a machine app in Automation One's new machine app HMI Builder tool. So let's connect to our local controller. And we've landed here in our machine app workspace where I will choose to create a new machine app. You'll see you're presented with this layout tool that allows you to define the layout of your machine application. I'll choose this one. If you want to enhance your layout, you can choose secondary modules in which you can add different graphical elements in addition to the main primary layout modules we first added to the layout. I'll click OK. First, you'll see you're presented with the different level of settings for this machine app. First, let's name it. We'll simply name it Machine Interface. And as you can see, the first thing that you're presented with is the ability to provide some level of custom branding for this machine application. I'll browse my Windows file system here to find an icon file that I would like to use for this machine app. I'll use my W logo. As you can see, that logo is a yellow and red colors. And I can go into my primary color and my primary hover over color to change these to sort of match what you see in that icon. And I can make this as custom as I'd like to. I can also choose whether or not in my machine application, if I want to display the reset button, the abort button, or to register for callbacks, all three of which I would like to do. And finally, what action should I take when I close this machine app? I'm going to choose to close to return to the machine app launch pad. Okay, now that I have that set, I'll save that. And I'll go to my modules. This is a drag and drop approach to setting up your layout for your machine application. The first thing I'll do is take this Axis dashboard, which is the same as what you see in the bottom of my Automation One Studio application. And I want to have that in my machine application because it's a nice convenient way to look at data from the Axis, potentially to jog the Axis, and also to home and enable and disable the Axis. I want to have that in my user interface. I'd also like to have a series of customizable push buttons, which I can program uh, their functionality here in the machine app. And just for this example, I'll make this button move X by 10 millimeters. Although I'm doing a single command line call here, it's very common to create an AeroScript library function or a series of library functions to set up more complex machine functionality accessible by one push button here. And I'll show you that when we get to the actual machine application and you see the actual layout. For now, I'll create one more button. I'll hit OK. I'd like to have a jog pad so I can jog my axes. I'll put this in the top right. I'm okay with all these settings. I can change my high and low jog speed and my jog distance. Let's just change this to 10 for the sake of uh, showing you how this works. And then if I wanted to, I can also have a Z and a U axis jogging as well. Let's hit okay. I can choose to have a little data visualizer here. And then I can also put my programming module directly in my front end. And let's pretend I want to restrict the operator's access to some of these features. Uh, they don't need to create or edit files. 
they really only need to load files and run them. So I'll just restrict those uh, capabilities. And then I will save this machine interface app and I will activate it. Okay, so we've been successful in creating our first machine app. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Here I have opened the machine app launch pad. And I'll click on my controller to connect to it. And you see the icon that we created in the machine interface application here. Simply click on that to launch it. You'll see very quickly how easy it was to create my own custom machine application. All my custom color scheme is there and all of the Aerotech branding has been removed from the machine app itself. If I'd like to, I can run this program and I can collect data. There's a data collection script here in the program. I'll hit run. And if I don't like the signals I've configured to collect, I can quickly configure those signals right here and add my position command. I can update that. And again, when I run this file, now I'll see my position command collected. If I would like to collect continuous data, I can do that with the click of a button. And you can see my x-axis move 10 when I hit this button here. I can hit it again and again. Or I can go here and I can jog my x and see the motion. That concludes this instructional video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Automation One Machine Apps HMI Builder.